Hi guitarlings, this is Gray at Hub Guitar. Today we're going to do the nursery rhyme Ba Ba Black Sheep, arranged for solo fingerstyle guitar. Here we go. Jumping right in, at the first measure we've got a C major chord, probably the first chord you've learned on the guitar. So I've got my ring finger on the third fret of the fifth string, I've got my middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and my index finger on the first fret of the second string. A lot of beginners struggle with this chord, so you've got to try to drop your wrist down to make sure that your fingers can come straight and get that chord cleanly. And also make sure your fingernails are trimmed, because if your fingernails are too long, it's going to be pretty hard to stand those fingers up straight and tall. So we've got C major with that C in the melody. We repeat the C a second time. Note that I'm letting the whole, the rest of the chord on strings five, four, and three kind of hang out there and, and continue to ring through that whole measure. And then I add G onto the top on the third fret of the first string. So all together. So for measure two, I'm gonna go up to F. That's on strings one, two, and three. And it's got the note we need in the melody on top there. And I'm gonna put my second finger on that note on the fifth fret, fifth fret of the first string, my ring finger on the sixth fret of the second string, and my index finger on the fifth fret of the third string. And just play that as a little triad. That helps me get that melody I need before I go back down to this C chord. So this C chord has G on the top, that's your first finger on the third fret of the first string, and then I'm using my pinky on the fifth fret of the second string, and my ring finger on the fifth fret of the third string, and that's how I get my C. Now I'm going back down to F, but I'm doing an easier three note version of F. I'm not doing the full F you might have learned, or even this bar chord. No, I'm just doing one, one, and two, so I can use three fingers for that. I can put my second finger on the first fret of the first string, and my index finger on the first fret of the second string, and then my ring finger on the second fret of the third string. Or if you feel comfortable with the semi-bar, you can actually use one finger, your index finger, and grab the first fret of both of those, that's, that's fine. Then we resolve that to this C major triad. This is just the upper part of the C major chord you played before. But now we're only playing the top three notes, so we really only need to push down the first fret of the second string. And then we're gonna go to a little miniature G7 chord. I like this voicing a lot, actually. I'm putting my pinky on the third fret of the second string, open third string, and then I'm putting my ring finger on the third fret of the fourth string. That creates a nice G or G7 sound, which resolves nicely to the C. And again, I'm just using the upper part of the C there sometimes, but you can also put your ring finger back down on the bass and let that bass line return to the action. So here's the initial phrase again. Going back to measure five, we're gonna have a return to the stronger bass line, so there's gonna be more action in the bass. So I'm gonna go back to my C major chord. You might be comfortable fretting your original C major chord, but noticing that there's actually a third fret on the first string, and there's actually no note indicated on the fourth string, you might even just skip fretting that. If it's easier for you to remember C major plus a note, go ahead and do that. I like to do this because I like to save myself a little bit of effort. And then now we're going to go to the full F. That's with the little semi bar there to C. Notice you caught me actually pushing down on a note that I'm not playing. That's fine. And to G. This is a very nice, simple, abbreviated G voicing. And then the bass walks down to the first fret of the sixth string, but notice that I didn't lift up the, my other finger yet because I want that chord to ring a little bit longer. And the bass continues its walk down to open E. 
And that's also actually a C chord, technically. I'm gonna go to this really um, dark sounding chord that sounds a little bit out of place in a nursery rhyme. It's an A dominant seventh. And I'm just using my index finger on the first fret of the first string and my middle finger on the second fret of the second string. And then I'm resolving that to a minor seven. That's just one finger. It's a lot like a C chord, except the bass is A. Back to one of my favorite G chord voicings. So altogether, the middle part of that goes like this. And then for measure 9, 10, 11, 12, we basically just repeat the first part. So you could play this as a solo instrumental. You could play it for some, some kids you know or, or anybody who might like a nursery rhyme. And you can also use it to support someone who actually is going to sing the song because with the melody being on the top of every chord, it will help people to sing along because they'll be able to hear the melody very clearly. So there's a bunch of different ways to use this, but it just makes a great little exercise for solo finger style guitar and helps you see how a simple tune like this can be harmonized and arranged for a solo guitar. So that's it for Baba Black Sheep. Thanks for watching.